Today I'm going to look at the spectral transfer function of the 296E spectral processor. In spectrum function we have odd to even, even to odd, and external to all. Uh, we won't be looking at the external to all today. So what's going on here is we take an odd spectrum sound, uh, in this case uh, you can hear it. It's coming out of a 261. If I sweep the timbre, we'll change the spectrum. That's odd. Here's the sound that's going into the even, coming from a 259. I find if you're going to explore this, the best thing to do is to have harmonically rich sounds going into both of these. If you go in with sine waves or triangle waves, uh, there's not much of a spectrum. Uh, there are not many harmonics available, so transfers will, you'll find will cancel each other, phase cancel each other, and it'll sound like nothing. So use harmonically rich sounds. Let me show you how this works. We have both odd and even going in there. And if I wanted to do this manually, instead of using the uh, spectral transfer button odd to even, I would just go in here and go out of odd envelope follower and go to even um, VCA. And I just keep going through all the odds to evens. There's some harmonics sort of missing, but that's because I haven't changed the timbre setting on the 261. So that's basically the manual version of doing odd to even instead of using the button. Now if I just hit transfer, and even a nod together. And just odd. A fun exploration to make uh, to get more motion out of this is to take a function generator, in this case I'm using the D section of a 281E, have it set on a fairly slow ramp up, ramp down, and have it do what I was doing manually before by turning the timbre knob, have the control voltage do, to, do that for me. And then I can take that very same control voltage out of the 281 and go to a 257E, for instance, and invert that voltage and bring it over to the warp of the 259, and we get more subtle shiftings. Another fun thing I can do is take that a duplicate of that audio out of the 259, go to the signal in of a balance modulator, take that output and go over to another input channel and we get somewhat of a bass sound. Two 
to add to that continually shifting spectral sound. And while I'm there, let's take a another sound out of the 261 mod oscillator, go to the frequency shifter. put that in yet another audio channel. And now we have a rich and lush, ever-changing drone. Another thing to mention are the pre-emphasis controls. Uh, they bring out the higher harmonics, which sometimes get uh, suppressed, I'm guessing, because they can uh, get pretty squelchy, um, given that you don't know how these are interacting. So if it's sounding a little uh, dull or muted, uh, try working the pre-emphasis. Here's a fun little patch. Let me break it down for you. First, we'll take a listen to it. I'm using uh, spectrum transfer odd to even. It works best in that. Uh, let's just take a listen to what our raw material is. Uh, so I'm just going to come out into a different channel here so I can let's here's um odd let me bring it up and that's coming out of a 259 which is uh i've got a 281 in sort of a krell mode we'll look at that in a second the pulsar is coming out to the 266 266 is going to pitch uh 259 is in sawtooth and it's in high mode and here's the even side. It's a 261, and it's uh, an, an LFO mode coming out of the mod oscillator, and it's a square wave setting. And it is being ramped up and down by a CV coming from that same 281. Okay, so together, Okay. So the basic routing is mod oscillator out of the 259 in square wave high. Uh, CV is coming in from the 266, which is being pulsed by the A section of the 281E. The even side is coming out of a 261E mod oscillator and it's in square wave and it's in low mode and its uh, CV is coming out of the continuous, the blue CV out of that same 281E. Uh, and the heart of this, uh, let me just take out all this uh, stuff so you can see what's going on here. The heart of this patch really is this little setup here. Uh, it's the essence of my Krell patch. Uh, the 281E has a super fast attack, as fast as possible. Um, sort of medium decay, this is at 0 .03 or if you like 11 o'clock. Uh, then I have a, se and that's in cycle mode, I have a second uh, section of the multi of the quad function generator and it's a slow ramp up and ramp down and the blue is coming out of that and going to the decay so that I can get all this uh, random chaotic changes of rhythm sort of asymmetrical rhythms coming out of there Okay, there you go.